and action! Hi guys, you probably know me. I'm Mila. I made these autism talks and other videos like Alvin Jolie Rock and Roll, all kinds of stuff. And there'll be some new stuff coming very soon. So this is Autism Talks and I need to tell you guys something very important. This is very important to know. Um, I think I mentioned this in my other video um, before or later on. Um, now you're going to hear me say this again. Do you know that when you worry, it causes you, it makes you sick um, and kind of stresses you out and also it makes you have not, have not a good life because there are some people out there, I'm sorry to say, who are very negative people and who always worry all the time or always stress all the time and think they're not going to have a very happy life and yeah so my advice would be i'm trying not to worry but every time i worry negativity can kind of creeps up on me just it happens like 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 a swoosh like that um it happens to me a little but i'm trying not to worry so much um me and my mum had a serious talk the other day about it i was like crying in tears i won't give you any details but you know, worryingness can cause you not having fun in your life. And for me, being 16 and a teenager now, I'm practically, you know, a 16-year-old and a teenager. And teenagers should have fun in their life. But some teenagers have don't have fun in a lot of, out of a, lot, a lot of life. And people say, you know, you only get to be a child once or only get to be a teenager once. And... You know, that's actually true and so just enjoy it, you know. I know worryingness is hard, but I'm kind of, you know, trying to get over worryingness. I'm not trying to worry too much. I'm worried kind of like a little, like a tiny bit. But sometimes this negativity comes in and swoops you in. Like for saying, oh, you know, you do that or do this and that. There's just possibilities. So negativity can actually kind of creep up in your brain and stuff and that's what happened to me today because I was worried earlier on and now I'm worried now about something and you know yeah so it's it's also good to talk to a parent if these things come up um as I was saying this morning my mum gets worried about me sometimes so we kind of have a we kind of have a good motherly daughter connection you might not have that but we have it so yeah so I'm just trying not to worry too much about stuff because at the end of the day it's just negativity pops up in your brain it creeps onto you like a spider like you know like a spider crawls up to you and you just get this negativity and you try to do things like I try to when I do that I try to like tap my ears and shake my head and smack my stomach that's what that's what actually I do actually I try to do that and also kind of like prevent from worrying too much and I've toned down a little and taking a lot of time but yeah hopefully this worriness and stress I mean seriously it for me it has to stop because you know I'm like always worried about one little thing and it hasn't happened yet like you know, I just want to stop worrying and it's hard for me because because I've got, well, I am autistic as you guys know and when my autism kicks in, my, I've got, also, um, I've got, I don't have like a disease but I have like, I've learned this up there, I've got, I've got um, anxiousness which means worryingness and anxious about everything, I've got that as um, a symptom as well. And yeah, so that's kind of where my autism kicks in when I worry and have stuff like that. And, you know, my also my brother's actually the same because, well, I know he's, he's, my brother's very severely autistic. If you don't know, PJ, my brother, he's younger than me. He's very severely autistic. He's got like OCD, which I find, find out the other day. Um, and he worries a little too, but not... As much as me. So we're both very anxious, stressed out kids, as you can see. Um, yeah, but 
I have more control over it than he does, so it's probably easier than me, but it isn't. And I'm trying so hard not to worry, but it just kind of pops out with a blink of an eye. Like, you're doing something and you have a grain, then negativity pops up in your head and destroys what you're doing. It's, it's crazy. Like, I can't even stop worrying about the fact that you know about other stuff that might happen or what whatever it is um, I just want to stop worrying and for once in my life just have fun and you know do my movies which I do for you guys on YouTube as well I've got a busy very busy schedule on that as well so I just want to stop worrying because at the end of the day it's nothing and I should probably take my my advice as well and make me feel better because worriness I know Worryingness can cause headaches, it can cause sickness as well. So my advice would be, if you're worried about something, just drop it or just talk to someone about it. You know, some people might not want to talk to people about it. Maybe they just want to, you know, but it's also good to let your feelings out. And I've, and when someone... And when something creeps up on me, I just tell my mum like straight away, like I don't hide it. And I always hide. I try. I always try to hide my feelings and my worriness, and because, you know, a lot of reasons. But saying that, I am tired of stress and worry. And my mum's actually right when she says that because I've been worrying. You have no idea. Like since when I was a little kid, I think I started worrying about this stuff. And at the end of the day, it just what's up in your life and it's not even worth it it kind of like destroys your day a little and yes I have been having a rough time with a couple of things like mum and his friend they kind of you know the whole story you know they um you know so it's very different it's it because I for me I don't really cope with change a lot and it's hard for me to realize that Okay, so it's over between the both of them. I don't know if it'll work out. I don't think it will we'll work out. And my mum's trying to mend her heart to you. And I've kind of mended my broken heart too, which we'll talk about the next one, which is called confrontation. So that will be a good one as well. Anyway, um, at the end of the day, just you got to stop worrying about the stuff. And I mean, seriously, it's just not worth it I mean I even know why I started worrying in the first place maybe I don't know something happened to me when I was a child there are lots of reasons why okay for example um when you're you know when you're a kid you experience things and you're like oh I don't want to try it again it's kind of like stuck in your mind that's yeah that's how I get with things so for example let me think of a time okay um I got it when I was little I won't give, give you too much detail. I got stunned by a wasp. And since then, I've been not terrified, but every time I see a wasp, because we used to live in um, the Bay Area um, a long time ago when I was still, I think I was about 11 or t 11 or t no, I, 10 or 9. I was very little back then. And uh, we had like this balcony. And there was a wasp, and it just kind of freaked me out. And I went, yeah, so ever since then, I haven't been terrified about wasp. I just stay away from wasp because that's what happened to me. That's what my experience. So you get what I'm saying with all these things. Like, there's something stuck in your mind you just can't get out. Like, I'll give you another reason. Um, so I haven't gone into too much detail. Um, what else? Okay, when I was, this happened a long time ago. It doesn't really help now. But, you know, um, so there was this one time I got bitten by a green ant on my, uh, I think it was near my head. I think it was about, probably about there and then an ice pack on it. And you know how green ants really sting you? Oh my God, it like kills you kind of thing. Like it just really kills you. And ever since then, I've been kind of aware of green ads. I've been, I've got stunned here by a green ad before, um, back at the country um, place when I was about in year four. Um, I got stunned here when we, when, we were, when we were out somewhere and we were looking at something and I got stunned by the toe. And it's stunned, yeah, 